Hey there guys, Rusty coming at you with a Tangram knife. Yes, I found this one brand new. I found this at Mojave Outdoors. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, Tangram uh, was a division of Kaiser, a lot like uh, Civivi is of We. And they did a great job with packaging. Get your box, you get a microfiber cloth here uh, with the emblem and a little bit of the info card. And we'll put that away. But this one is called the Vector. So we're going to get this out. I picked it up for $31 at Mojave Outdoors. And this is aluminum button lock. So with all the craze going on with the Civivi Atlas and the Civivi uh, Qubit, I think it is, uh, let's not underrate this one. Uh, this is in 440 Japanese Akuto or Japanese Akuto 440C. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, JPN Akuto, which is a modified version of 440. Um, Outpost 76 did do a cut test on it. Cedric's done cut test with it. Uh, I think the uh, Tangram Santa Fe, which was a very popular knife. And they got good results. In fact, Outpost was getting something similar to VG10. So that's going to compete with your Civivi uh, Nitro V. An uh, excellent job on the milling here on the aluminum. Put together well. This is a Kim Ning design. And if you guys don't know about Kim Ning, uh, he was the lead uh, production at Kaiser. And then he left and went on to start uh, concept knives. So you're going to find a lot of Kim Ning knives in the concept uh, being released. So Nice, actually just excellent ergos. Kim knows what he's doing when it comes to making knives. And a tremendous blade shape. He's got this just the slightest recurve. And he brings this wedge down uh, for your point. It's a drop point. Uh, there's a Tangram logo. So, uh, well, we'll do a cut test while we're taking a peek at the blade. This is probably going to be a short one. And I gotta try not to cut myself. Let's see. Ah, a little bit disappointed. Okay. Nope, nope. I thought it'd be sharper than that. So we can do, maybe it just needs some honing. Sure looks sharp. Feels sharp. Wonder what the heck's happened here. Oh, okay. Well now, hmm, grab peanut number three. Yeah, no. Okay, that's a strange one. I'm going to call it sharp, but I also think it just needs maybe a strop. And will be there. So uh, this is running on washers. So that's one thing you're not going to get is, you know, drop. So let's take a peek at that. And on this model, this is one I've been waiting to tell you guys about. That is how you drill through here for that button, your plunge lock, to, uh, to pop into. Okay, a lot of manufacturers don't go all the way across there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And they don't actually do it completely, but they, but they do a nice job. And uh, that's completely acceptable. And it's going to give you a more secure lockup, in my opinion. I'm a little scared of, of the uh, button locks if it comes to... Poking something hard, if you want to stab this in a tree, I trust this one more than the other ones where it looks a little ratty. 
uh, in that section there. But back to this, the washer's probably not going to drop shut on you unless you uh, tighten it up, which you might get some blade play. I'm not going to do anything, play with this knife. This is more of a collectible for me. Tangram knives seem to be double in value. Paid like 35 for my Tangram Rumble, and you want 70 for it now. The Santa Fe's, I'm not even sure you can't find one. So, uh, but I will get out a Kim Ning knife, and this is the Kaiser, back when he was working for Kaiser. Uh, Vigor 3 and N690 blade steel. So taking a look, you can see the same styling, at least I can. This has just an ever so slight recurve, which is kind of being sharpened out. Uh, we'll grab one of these peanuts and see if it's a peanut. Well, no, I think uh, this one, yeah, this is, whoo. So, but you can see that top swedge on the blade. He did a compound grind on this. Fantastic ergos. Absolutely love the ergos on this. I do carry this. It's a regular in the rotation. And this one, very, very similar. Uh, it's about a three and a half finger knife here. So what do we got here? Yeah, three and three quarters, what we're looking at there. Pocket clips on these, these are 2018, I think, when they released them. They're both very similar. Uh, they're not your traditional deep carry, so you're going to have something sticking out. But it's a couple of nice looking knives there. Uh, very useful on this one. And let's see what else do we got. Well, this one's on the table. And that's the Bridgeport 395. And they got a little bit of a similar uh, blade length. Uh, this one's going to have a flat grind. This one's going to have a hollow grind. But I'm enjoying this 395. Uh, this is your step up for me on the uh, pair of three. So... I find myself grabbing this when I feel like going a little fancier. So, unfortunately, this one won't see the the day where the action where I can give her a shake close with that button lock. Uh, I do believe you can get there. I said it's running on washers, and uh, this one definitely. I, I took it apart, and this is a strange. What we got here is a Phosphor Bronze with uh, Teflon and another Phosphor Bronze sandwich. And so the Teflon sandwich between uh, the Phosphor Bronze, there are three washers on each side. And I can tell you it uh, has worked itself a lot smoother. Um, and if the lock bar wasn't on there, I could probably shake it shut. But one advantage is... You know, you stick this in your pocket, you're not going to get the lint and the dirt in there. So, yep, there's our thumb deployment. Let me see if I can do a... Okay. Yeah, I think we're finished. So, if you guys are looking for a collector's knife, I'm speculating. Uh, this could be one of them. And uh, save yourself some money. You know, little Civivis are running 70 bucks. You can get yourself something very similar, uh, maybe for thirty-one fifty. We'll see if Mojave, what Mojave Outdoors is still doing. So, all right, guys, thanks for checking out the miner.